this is Dr. Vicki Peterson. Today I want to continue the story of collagen. Uh, part one was earlier and you can watch that as well. Uh, but today I want to tackle bone broth specifically and a little bit on collagen powders. Uh, there's a lot of data about how wonderful bone broth is and how important it is to get enough collagen. And while it is true that our collagen diminishes with age, it might not be because we actually need to ingest collagen. So you can get the answer to that in the first video. Um, there's also a blog that's very in-depth on all these chapters that I'm going to be presenting on our website, rootcausemedical.com. So when you hear about the benefits of bone broth, they talk about healing the gut and boosting the immune system, improving sleep, improving heart function, uh, what else? Uh, detoxification, building muscle, building healthy joints. It's a long list and it's like, this sounds great, where do I get my bone broth? Um, but I know a little bit about bone in general and it's interesting how the body will sequester things in one's bones that it's trying to get out of the system. Uh, it's, it's a little like hiding place. Uh, that's why uh, with age as bone breaks down in humans, you'll see certain toxins coming out that people were exposed to decades and decades prior that had been happily and safely sequestered in the bone, but then with age and that breaking down of bone, they're now getting these uh, toxic substances back out in their system. So it didn't surprise me when um, I saw some research where uh, a group had taken, it was a not-for-profit group, and they, were, they made it very clear uh, that they weren't um, paid to include or exclude anyone from their study. They simply took the top eight sellers on Amazon just last year, 2017, and uh, looked at bone broths and um, collagen powders to see if there were any contaminants. They, they were wondering about that. And sure enough, they found antibiotics, they found drug metabolites, prescription drug metabolites, meaning the breakdown products of drugs. They found parabens, they found insecticides not good. So um, their summary was you want to be very careful about these because uh, there's no safe amount of these things that uh, you should get in your diet. Uh, so somebody who was analyzing this information said well they didn't they didn't use organic um, bone broth and that would probably make a difference. So I found another study and once again you can see this exact reference on my blog on the website. Um, but there was another study done and they found a 10x increase in the amount of lead in bone broth made from organic chickens. So these were very clean chickens, organic, and still the bone broth from these chickens had 10x the amount of lead. There's no safe amount of lead um, allowed, so you want to avoid all lead possible. So you certainly don't want to go to the trouble of making bone broth only to get exposed to lead. So that's a cautionary tale that you might want to consider. Um, getting back to collagen powders in general, what are we looking at here? We're looking at um, getting some protein, right? And with all the hype about collagen, you would think that we needed protein, that we, this was something hard to find, that we were deficient in, when in fact 97% of Americans and pretty much across the industrialized nations, if you're getting enough calories, you're getting plenty of, of protein, if not too much. And then when you look at um, this animal source from collagen versus a plant source and you know, looking at is there any difference there? And it turns out very interestingly, I've certainly known the association of certain um, animal-based amino acids, animal-based proteins being more associated with cancer, but why? You know, why is that? So we're an animal, you're eating an animal, that, that a likeness is more of a problem actually than, than a benefit. So meaning that when an animal meets an, eats an animal, um, there's a similarity of the amino acid structure of the protein, which allows the body to assimilate that protein in very, very quickly. It's very easy. And when you get that rapid assimilation, the body produces a hormone called IGF-1. And that particular hormone is actually associated with increased risk for cancer. So it's not a, a good hormone. Now, when you eat plant protein, because you're an animal, it's a plant, obviously bigger difference in, in structure of um, how the protein is put together. It's harder for 
our bodies to assimilate plant protein. We certainly can, the amino acids are the same, but just that, that, that makeup of it is different. And it turns out that not only does eating plant protein not stimulate IGF-1, it stimulates IGF-1 binding factor. So it actually binds up the IGF-1 that might have been produced elsewhere. And that's why one of the reasons why eating plant protein is protective actually against cancer. So they couldn't be more diametrically opposed, moving you toward cancer, moving you away from cancer. So um, very interesting how even though all animal protein and plant protein are complete proteins, they have all those essential amino acids other than collagen, by the way, it's the, it's the one commonly consumed protein that is not complete because it's missing an essential acid, uh, sorry, essential amino acid called tryptophan. So I reviewed this um, in the last video, but just so I'm not leaving you hanging. Tryptophan, it, when you're not consuming enough of it, can be associated with mood swings, irritability, depression. So the fact that collagen is incomplete um, is, is significant. So it's not something we, we would boast about um, how wonderful it is when it's an incomplete protein. Uh, so getting back to the plants and the animals, I think you can see that distinction. And um, so with collagen powders, um, you know, once again, you can get plenty of protein and plenty of good amino acids from good healthy food. There's nothing unique to collagen. Uh, it has, it's got certain amino acids in, in higher frequency, but it's not amino acids that are essential even for that matter. Um, and certainly can be found in, in other foods, both animal and plant rather readily. So that's my takeaway. And I'm sure I'm gonna hear from people who love bone broth and love collagen powders. And that's great. I love the interaction. That's why I do what I do. Um, I've been asked to speak about collagen and bone broth for a while, so I finally got to it. And so send me your questions. I love interacting with you, hearing your thoughts, hearing what else you want to learn about. Once again, for more specifics on this topic, definitely go to the website, rootcausemedical.com, where I go into more detail. Uh, but uh, let me know your thoughts. If your health is not the way you want it to be, that's what I'm ultimately here for, me and my team at Root Cause Medical. So uh, we help the world's busiest people regain, retain, and reclaim their health, their energy, and their resilience. We'd love to help you. Give us a call for a free phone consultation or come in in person if you're local. The telephone number here is 408-733-0400. It's been great talking to you. Please share this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon.